Hey guys, I know it's been a while, so welcome back to the channel. We got two really cool things going on in today's episode. We got footage of my coach Adrian sparring, and we got possibly the best Korean fried chicken in Vancouver. We'll find out. So I picked up Sid pretty early in the morning because we've been asking Adrian, like, you know, when do you usually play? Because we never really see you play at full force. We only see you kind of training with us or training with other kids. And, um,. He said, well, come by on Sunday and you can watch me spar with Kristen. I'm actually so happy we stopped by McDonald's because it was so friggin' early in the morning and I had just played the night previous, so it was definitely an early day for me. We've seen Adrian play on YouTube, of course, but it's always kind of different when you see it in person. It's just a little bit more intense. Uh, you get a feel for the sound and everything, so it was pretty sick. I gotta say, the best thing about watching this probably was the smashes, just because you don't really see that at amateur level. This is definitely pro level play. A couple of us booked a court so that we'd pretty much play right after watching Adrian. And I guess watching Adrian kind of hyped me up a little bit too much because I ended up rolling my ankle during our warm-up. Not gonna lie, I kind of regret playing on a rolled ankle because after this, I was pretty much out for two weeks just from recovery. When I'm watching these games, there's a couple of things that I notice right away. One being that it looks pretty awkward and you're not wrong. And that's because, well, the footwork quite honestly hasn't improved yet. And number two is I find that a lot of times we're out of position and that means that I'm not really covering Brandon and he's not really covering me and we're always sort of unsure who's getting what. Net kills are another thing that definitely need improvement because I had probably four or five chances here to put it away but really couldn't and instead just extended the rally. Thankfully we won it back but that's only because Sonic messed up. So when I took a few weeks off, I decided to hit up Sonic and my friend Tony and we decided to go to Pelicana, which is a Korean fried chicken place. It's actually a fried chicken franchise in Korea, but in Vancouver there's only one location, so I guess you can kind of call it its standalone store. Overall, the chicken here is pretty good. A little bit on the saucier side, but I don't mind that. Um, but I do feel like the appetizers and side dishes were a little bit lacking. We got a bit of variety here, but I think my favorite flavor was the spicy marinated fried chicken. I just felt its flavor had a little bit more depth compared to the original marinated and original Shit, fried chicken. I can't eat like this. I'm gonna eat now, man. I lost my appetite. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Burnaby Mountain represents. Fast forward a couple weeks, I'm back in the game and pretty much. I'd say 80% recovered, so Kevin and I decided to go play with Jeremy's group on Saturday. I think I've said it before, but I really like playing with this group because everyone definitely has a good foundation and skill set, and the quality of games is much better. Of course, as per usual, Kevin's kind of fucking around sometimes too. Kevin called me out during the games um, because a lot of my serves were really bad. And I think that was number one, I was under a lot of pressure playing with higher level players. And number two, I never really practiced the serves too much aside from sort of just getting it over the net. So we decided after everyone was done that we would focus on this a little bit and Kevin showed me a few things about serving. 
The other thing I gotta work on is getting prepared after the serve because I'm not ready for the serve return and that puts us in a lot of bad situation. I definitely gotta step with that side to side shuffle. The other thing to watch out for is whether or not the players are going for a push to the backcourt or they decide to play the net based on their body movement. Of course, we had to hit up Silver Tower after badminton to see our favorite waitresses. Yo, are you recording? Yo, fuck, hey. dude, GG. Hey. Yo, wait, can you? That's right, Jackie, I was recording this whole time. It's always sort of a good chance to talk about ways to improve, at least as a newbie. But not only that, you get to kind of shit talk each other as well. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys in the next video.